Hey guys, so today I want to show a quick tutorial on how to add an item to the player's hand, such as a knife, a sword, uh, or anything else. Um, so, as usual, we're going to start with a third person project. Um, and then we're going to add um, some free objects to it using a package available on Unreal Engine Marketplace. And I'll be sure to add that link. Uh, to the description. So once we've created our project, we actually want to close it out right away and go back to the Epix game launcher. Um, from there, I've already added um, the the first person's weapon bundle. Um, if you haven't added this, I'll put the link in the description. And then once you um, add it on the marketplace it'll be in your library then you go ahead and hit add to project and you're going to select the project that you want to add it to okay and once you do that it's going to begin adding it to the project and once that's complete we can go back to our project and reopen it now what we did right there was we added the files for some of those assets which includes uh, a knife some guns some different things um, and we added those to our project so now that we open everything back up, if we go to our content, we have this first FPS weapon bundle. And that's going to have inside of it um, many different things, but the M9 knife is what we're looking for. Um, so now let's go back to our third person character. And we'll expand this. And if we go to the viewport, we can see the character here. Now. When you go into this, let's select Mesh and Add Component. From there, we're going to add a skeletal mesh. And I'm just going to call this uh, Melee Item. Okay. And with Melee Item selected on the right, we can select which skeletal mesh we want to use. And in this case, we're going to search for Knife. And there's the M9 Knife. And you can see now it's brought it in. It's currently at the character's feet. Um, so now under that s same melee item we're gonna go to parent socket and we're gonna basically tie this item to a part of the body. So in this case we're gonna use the left hand. Uh, it's labeled as hand underscore L on the third person template. Um, and then what we're going to do is zoom in here and we can see the knife is moving with the hand of the body however it's uh, kind of stuck through his wrist so we want to go ahead and edit this the first thing I'm going to do is select over here and uncheck real time that'll stop moving the player so that I can carefully edit this now I can go ahead and begin positioning the knife in a location that works if you notice that the jumps are too big for you to accurately uh, place it, you can go here and change the snap size to a lower number. So now this moves the knife in smaller increments in order to help us place it better. Okay. That's not too bad. And then um, you can also, although I think ours is pretty good, you can go ahead and use your rotate tool and change this however you want. But I think ours is uh, pretty decent there. Okay, cool. So let's compile and save. And now let's return to our example map and begin playing. And you can see the knife is in the player's hand and it's moving with his hand. As I begin to run, that knife is moving with the hand because they're attached. That's really how simple it is to add a, uh, a quick melee item such as a knife or a sword or even to attach a gun uh, to their hand.
Anyways, that's all. Happy coding.